That's why men shouldn't be writing sex. The only sex that men write is literally porn. But then again, in the porn industry, more women are writing and directing porn than men right now. Hmm. So you got to ask yourself, okay, well, what's your problem? You, you're talking about women are being objectified, but most women in the porn industry are either doing it on their own, recording their own videos and posting it on Pornhub, or they're directing right. movies and writing the script. So women are objectifying women, yet you're upset at men for doing it? What? That doesn't make sense. On to the last article. How's everyone doing out there, folks? You guys are chiming in. We love it. Mostly people from the Philippines. Hey, ho, Philippines. Hey, Mark, hey. we got your family onto the uh, live stream here. Oh, you, know, you, must, you must have blasted you know. that out to everyone, didn't you? <clears throat> I mean, they did see the story. Well, yeah. I mean, everyone sees your story. No one sees my story. We're just... <laughs> All right. So this next article or story has been kind of circulating a lot lately. I don't know who this chick is. I've never heard of her before, but apparently she's writing the She-Hulk series for Disney+. Plus. Um, hmm. Because everyone asked for a She-Hulk series for Disney+. Plus. Yeah, so I don't really know what's going on here. In, in uh, retrospect to this, it, shit, I, but I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't read the whole thing because it was like, like it's deep, like, like from Twitter wars and whatever, whatever she did. I don't even know who this chick is, but she's causing, I wouldn't say a lot of trouble, but she's really ruffling a bunch of feathers. About, I mean, okay, no one, <clears throat> no one asked for a She-Hulk series. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't. Did you ask for a She-Hulk series? Are you the least bit interested in a She-Hulk series on Disney Plus? No, I mean the mouse did for sure. Yeah, well, you know the mouse. Well, I have, the a, world. I'm a, but I have a feeling that they're doing the She-Hulk because of MCU. She has to be part of it. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be part of it. Right, but uh, how many other series of, are out there that can be before She-Hulk? Like, what about Blade? Ruben, they said they were making a Blade mini series on. Disney Plus, what happened to that? Disney or Falcon Plus. and Winter Soldier, like we want those. Well, okay. no, they are doing. Well, Falcon and Winter Soldier is coming out this fall. Yeah, well, we haven't heard anything on that though. Well, at least I haven't. I haven't come across any any stories about that. So I don't. I don't no. fucking know. Like I don't want a She-Hulk series. So there's another article. I hope you guys are ready to laugh because I'm about to tear this bitch apart. All right, here we go. Marvel Studios. It's gonna be long. Dana Schwartz compares men to Oscar the Grouch as she continues her man-hating Twitter tirades. That's, that's what thing I'm saying. If you have a problem, you go on Twitter and cry about it because that's what all adults should be doing right now, right? Everyone is a keyboard warrior, guys. Yeah, keyboard warriors. If I'm upset about it, I'm going to go rant on Twitter. All right. My Marvel Studios She-Hulk writer continues to flood Twitter with her idiotic ideas and opinions that involve hating men. Okay, let's let's be real about this. This chick, she's very attractive looking. You can you kind of see she's very attractive. She has had dick once or twice in her lifetime. <laughs> she has to. She had to. She has, she has to have had some dick. So how are you going to hate men when we know that you love dick? <laughs> That makes not no un- sense. She's probably not un- married. Not, not, un- not unless she sings, swings the other way. If she swings the other way, that's good for her. But, I mean, most of these women who are talking about hating men, a majority of them are in a heterosexual relationship. So, I mean, if my wife started going on about hating men, I would have been like, but you married one. All right. Um... Her latest tweet depicts men in straight relationships as Oscar the Grouch living in his iconic trash can. Wow, she's a bitch. She's, <laughs> she's a fucking bitch. Short simply wrote, every straight relationship. Then she retweeted a photo shared by Entertainment Weekly writer Mark Sneaker of Oscar the Grouch and Nicole Kidman. As of writing, the tweet has retweeted 18,000 times and has been liked by over 164,000 people. Now, some people may think that this is a joke, but Schwartz's past tweets regarding her hatred of men provide context that it's more likely not a joke. And she truly thinks men are Oscar the Grouch, with the comparison being they are garbage. Okay. Dana Schwartz 
history of hating men. Just recently, she attempted to blame men for questioning her credentials that landed her a role as She-Hulk writer. She claimed that it was sexist to even question her about those credentials while also claiming her employers also have the right to question her. Uh, yeah, because we just read a whole fucking article about a bitch who knows nothing about Batman writing Batman. Yep. <laughs> Excuse us if some of us are fucking a little bit concerned here. Just, just saying. Again, no one asked for She-Hulk, okay? No one. No one asked for Seahawk. I don't want it. <laughs> so there's no reason to get mad. But no one asked for this. Just so we're clear. She has specifically taken issue with white men. Oh, it has to be just white men. Can you Claiming... look it up if this person is married before you get into it? Okay. So we, so we can kind of have some background on her, why she's hating on men this much. All right, let's jump into this. Here's the Wikipedia page. That's well, maybe, good enough, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe she got cheated on or something. Or oh, she's only 27, so I don't. I doubt it. But no, it doesn't say anything about her being married or anything. Okay. Um, then... Personal life. She's currently based in Los Angeles. A fucking course. Like. Of course. Who would have guessed, <laughs> who would have guessed that? Of course. But, uh, yeah, no. Um, What's her books? She writes books. Anatomy, a love story. A White Man's Guide to White Male Writers of Western Canon, a book mm -hmm. narrated by Guy in Your MFA Twitter account character who, with illustrations that, what the fuck is this? <clears throat> Hold on. <coughs> no, I just sneezed. Okay, so, okay, so she's a writer. So already it's like, okay, well, she writes books already, so I would assume that. I mean, in my opinion, she's probably already qualified to write a fucking book. I mean, or to write a story. So, I mean, I don't think anyone was probably bashing her for not having the credentials to write She-Hulk. It's just, mm -hmm. no one asked for a She-Hulk miniseries on Disney+. Plus. No one. Well, I Kevin, if I get through it up. out there. Anyways, she has specifically taken issue with white men claiming they were gatekeepers of literature and important books. No, they haven't. Most men don't even fucking read or write books. No one does. No, men don't read books. Do you read books, Mark? No, I have not. I'm not even going to lie. I have not. Most of, the, most of my guys, most of my boys, they don't read fucking books. I read books, but most of my guys, they, they don't read fucking books. I want to say that the last book I read was probably back in college. But no, like literature books? No. Bro, I haven't even read your book yet. Yeah, I wrote a book, folks, and this clown hasn't even read it yet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've written six books and this guy hasn't even read them yet. And they're like And I still have the first one. I don't even books. have the last five. They're like comic books just in literary form. That's that's literally all it is. She has even called for banning of books written by white men. How would you even begin to get started with that endeavor? Let's ban all white books written by white men. <clears throat> how? Okay, obviously we shouldn't ban all books by white dudes. I think it just shows how people are so furiously and deathly attached to the canon that they respond to a slightly hyperbolic point made in half jest with such vitriol. Okay, that's the fucking word salad. I don't know what the hell she's trying to say there. Do you have any idea? I do not have any idea, like how she's, I don't know. I'm Come telling you, it's like this article is pretty much just like her going back and forth on Twitter. Yeah, does it have anything to do with She-Hulk? Because not so much. It's pretty much just her tweets, like how she's getting. Well, I, just wanna, I just want to know why people are like bashing this chick so much. I mean, before I start bashing, I want to know what the topic of bashing is before she starts. You know, I don't, I don't know. This is me. Come on, no high schoolers do not need to read Ernest Hemingway. The sun will not fall from the sky if another generation of students don't fake their way through the sun also rises. No one wants to fucking read Ernest Hemingway, period. That's, no. that's a fact. That's so I don't know why she's bad him. Our ideas of what the important books are wasn't built in a vacuum. They were created back in a time when books by women and people of color were inherently thought of a lesser... The gatekeepers were white men who were biased in favor of their own perspective. No, I don't, I don't believe that at all. Most books were just written by people who had nothing better to do. Like if you look at Mark Twain, 
that dude was dumb as a bag of rocks, but he wrote Huck Finn because he saw something that he wanted to write about. And that was, that was the era. That was the era in which writing was kind of like very, very prominent. And there are other black writers and other different people during that era who wrote books, slaves or not. So you ever heard of Thurgood Marshall? I mean, I have. Thurgood, Thurgood Marshall. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if this chick knows her history very well, to be honest. Okay, Dana Schwartz, 26 writers, four women, none black, this time to finish. I'm a black writer. I'm right here. I'm black. I've written six books. No one's talking about me. Hello. Hello. (laughs) Hi. Yay. Hey, black. Black guy. Black guy. Black guy. I've written six and published them with four unpublished. So actually, I've written 10 books. There's four of them are unpublished. Why don't you publish those four? I don't know. I'm... As you know, I don't have a lot of eyeballs on my books right now, so I would wish uh, the people would want to read them because publish them takes a lot of money to get them edited, book covers, I stuff like that. that. Huh. She would also double down and claim that all books written by white men should be banned for 20 years. Banned for 20 years from high school. Why 20 years? That's weird. I just, I just don't get what she's like against white men. Like, what did they do to her? <laughs> what kind of, ch- <laughs> what kind of childhood did you have? Like, like that's all she's going after. Like, white man. Like, you're white. So, like, why? <laughs> what you know, did the like, white men do to you, Dana? What did they do to you? What did they do to you? Like, what kind of high school or what kind of childhood did you have? Like, oh man, I wish she would like read my tweets because I would love, I would love her to like chime in and just tell us her life story. What did white men do to you, Dana Schwartz? Look, look, see, talking about the upcoming Top Gun sequel. She whine about how unfair society is in regards to men and women. For a Top Gun, right? That's what she's yeah. referring to. Yeah, like the next, the next tweet down. Hang on, let's see if I can get her. What's her Twitter handle? Dana Schwartz. Oh, Dana she is. Schwartz. Oh, she is. A, I've I've come to realize that people with the blue Twitter check mark. She's very fine. Steer clear. Yeah, no, steer clear of those people because they're fucking insane. <laughs> They're fucking insane. Come join the conversation. I'm inviting her. I'm see if she's gonna fucking jump into this live stream. <laughs> she is not. I gotta know. Like, what, what do white men? What hey, do white Dana. Men do to you? She, Dana, yeah. you have nothing better to do, but you can join this live stream right now. Yeah, and look, we're not white. He's Filipino, <laughs> and I'm black, so you can talk to us. <laughs> 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 we just want to white people, Ditty. White men in particular, because I don't know. I yeah, white I don't men. Know where- White men, and she's very specific to not leave out the white and men together in the same sentence. Yeah, it's not white here it's for not the men next there. twenty years. She's the next, why twenty years? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Talking about the upcoming Top Gun sequel, she whined about how unfair society yeah, that's is the one. in regards to men and women. Okay, okay, deep breath. <sighs> Let's go through this slowly, because this film is, I guess, as you say exclusively for men. Sure. Men need to be protected from the horror of a woman who is 60 years old. So where does that leave us? What the fuck is she talking about? What does that have to do with Top Gun? It's, it sounds like she's trying to push for girl power. Which is fine. Go write a fucking girl movie. I mean, no one cares. You had your chance to write girl movies. Birds of Prey sucked. Dark Phoenix sucked. That new Terminator sucked. Charlie's Angel sucked. You guys are not a fucking. Oh right yeah, movie. the new Charlie's Angels definitely sucked. If you, I like Alita Battle Angel, that was a good movie. That was good. That's a thumbs Battle, up. Battle hey, Battle no, movie. Captain Marvel and Wonder Woman was good. Wonder Woman was good. Captain Marvel was good. Whatever. You just, just hate Brie Larson. That's I don't like Brie Larson. There you go. I, okay, I but, but the movie, but the movie was tastefully done. The movie was was okay. It was it was done well, you know, and that did not have a female director too, Captain Marvel. Uh, I think it was a yeah, it was a female, right? It was a female. Same with uh, Wonder Woman. They, they both had female directors. Not to get sidetracked, Black Widow will be coming out in November, and I can't wait for that movie. Right. They so pushed it back. Talk- it's gonna be in November. So let's just talk about men being scared of a female lead. No, we we kind of we kind of want more female leads. We do. We just we, want the like, lead to be. Just to go back to it, like we've asked for Black Widow like five years ago, and now he's right. giving it to us. Like you're five years late, but we'll still take it. <laughs> well, we'll take it. We'll take we it. We will take it. And oh, she continues. Do you see how objective 
find that is men can get fat and bald and age, but since women are not people, no one said women aren't people. I don't know where you got that from. She, I don't know. <laughs> Merely objects to bolster a male aimed fantasy. If they're not desirable, they are literally worthless or worse than worthless, worthless because they were... It sounds like she has a problem with Pornhub. It sounds like this is what that's directed to. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I, I'm thinking she's attacking the wrong people. She should be attacking the porn industry because that's how they really see their women. They objectify women in their porn, but that's yeah. porn. That's, yep. that's, that seems like their industry. Be them because mm -hmm. statistically speaking, women watch more porn than men. They don't watch really? it as often as men. But yeah, but women, we watch it more often because we're men. We have nothing right, better to right. do, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. they watch more. They're able to handle more porn at longer periods of time. They can watch it more and longer. They can probably, watch, it like, they can probably watch like the whole two hours of it or something like that. Right. Like they don't even have to skip to the fucking part. They will watch the whole goddamn <laughs> story of the fucking movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we skip straight into the hardcore fucking right there. Let's get to the halfway in. We don't want to see the foreplay. Let's get right into there. Exactly. All right. Don't give us women that. Watch... <laughs> we don't want the talking. <laughs> we want this bitch on a bed. Don't, no, don't give me that. Watch... Don't give me that like <laughs> F plus uh, acting. Right, right. But no, most women they actually opt in to get that subscription really? um, to like websites and stuff. They're yeah, they watch yeah. more porn. We watch it more often, but they watch it in large doses. And that's like Makes imagine sense. watching. Imagine watching a porn movie that it is as long as Avengers Endgame. That's a three, three hours, hours long. Movie. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're not. I'm not doing that. But I am do not. that. I don't, I don't have time for that. But Dana, it sounds like you should be going attacking the porn industry, which you know that's where three hours porn, long, three hour long porn. I, I I can't. No, they they have those movies, the little DVDs that are like sixteen hours of porn. I'm like, who needs sixteen hours of porn? <laughs> Who needs that much porn? <laughs> no one needs that much porn. <laughs> also, white men should be banned from teaching literature until 15. I told you, this until article has nothing to do with She-Hulk. Winning the Nobel Prize. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to understand her hatred right now. What are these, these numbers? Ban, ban books written by white males in high school for 20 years. Why 20? And then mm -hmm. also okay. white men should be banned from teaching literature until 15 women win the Nobel Prize for Literature in a row. You know, when you start seeing tweets like this that emphasizes these stupid ass ideas, you got to ask yourself, is she doing this because she's getting a response from people or does she truly actually feel this way? We might have to follow her on Twitter because it sounds like that's where all the action is at. Yeah, right. Honestly, so much of Twitter is men commenting on my jokes with less funny versions of the same joke. What jokes? What jokes are you saying here? These are not jokes. These are clearly attacks on white men. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Uh, a note to all men. Please never give me advice on how to punch up my tweets. Does she um, not know that her boss, Kevin Feige, is a white man? Right. Right. Do you not, <laughs> like, do you not know that? Like... Do you not know that Stanley is white? Right. I, I like when you put together those facts. Like <laughs> you know, like, like do you not we... know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you not know that the mouse is white? Come yeah, on, the like, mouse is... and the fact white. that Marvel <laughs> hired her is just ruining their reputation at this point. Right. Or That's what I'm saying, like... or or this is a publicity. Like publicity stunt. I'm thinking like, I'm try to gravitate so people will watch the she hole. I'm thinking that's what it is. Look, the worst sex writing all by men. Because men get straight to the fucking part. That's why. That's, that's probably why it's bad. Yeah. That's exactly why it's bad. Women we don't more... we don't go into any romantic things. No, 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 we don't. That's why men shouldn't be writing sex. The only sex that men write is literally porn. But then again, in the porn industry, more women are writing and directing porn than men right now. Hmm. So you got to ask yourself, okay, well, what's your problem? You, you're talking about women are being objectified, but most women in the porn industry are either doing it on their own, recording their own videos and posting it on Pornhub, or they're directing right. movies and writing the script. 
So women are objectifying women, yet you're upset at men for doing it? What? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. Fucking people. Okay, she also claims... Oh, what is she talking about Wreck-It Ralph for? What is this? She also claims that insecure, needy men who think women belong to them are the real villain of the internet. Okay, so there are some shitty men out there who think that, and they're shitty for it. Um, but mm-hmm. the majority of the of the men in the world aren't like that <clears throat> at all. I don't think my wife... Well, my wife is mine. She belongs to me as a husband and a wife should be. But that's different because we're married. Right, Mark? Yes. My favorite thing about Ralph Breaks the Internet is that it figured out who the real villain of the internet is. Insecure, needy men who think women belong to them. Um, that was not the narrative of that movie at all. I don't think it was. No, it was Do you think it no. was? No, it wasn't. Absolutely not. Either she's extremely horny or she's just really hating men. That's, that's the way I have to see it at this point. Congratulations, you made it to the end of this clip. That clip was taken from our live show, which is every Saturday at 3 p.m. So, hey, why not come out and join us? Come chat, come hang out, come listen to us talk about all things comic and culturally related to comics. Because, well, you're quarantined for like the next 30 days and... I don't know. Maybe there's something better to watch? Because we're like nobodies. Anyways, hit that subscribe button. Let us know what you guys think about this video. There's more on the way. We hope you guys do enjoy our content. And as always, we will see you next time on Nerd Power Hour Live. Have a good one, folks.